Hi everyone, this is Paul2478. I'm just going to show you all how to use the new PES conversion software so you can get back things like old presets and edit things that we can't normally do on PS3 in the in game editor. So, first off, you need to make sure you've got your edit data file from your PS3 and copy it somewhere on your, on your PC. I've got mine on desktop, so here we go. And then you need to open the brute force save data program okay and you should see this kind of screen and you hit the crit pfd and say yes and that's all done you can close that down and then you need to open the multi converter and go to option file converter and go ps3 to pc and then find the location of your file there's mine and hit OK and then you can minimize that you'll need that again later open the while editor editor say yes and this takes a few moments just to load in once you select the edit file it should automatically come to the the place where you where your data is Again, if not, you can check and make sure you're definitely in the right place, especially if you have multiple files on your PC at any one time. And you should all come to basis, similar kind of screen. Um, with Arsenal showing as the default team there and everything. Now, the first thing most of you are going to want to do is edit a player's face. Now, you can just bring up the team and search from that way, or you can go into here type the player name so let's just say I'm looking for Wayne Bridge and there he is now I already have him with this preset hairstyle and face and everything in here but this would normally say default if you haven't so you make sure you hit special and then relink and then you can search through all the faces and hairstyles to and you select the right player, hit relink, and that gives that player that that face and hairstyle. You can also, if you're just trying to, rather than base copy a player just to get a hairstyle, you can select only hair, and that'll give that player the hairstyle without giving them the face, leaving the face as it was before. Makes it easier than base copying and defaulting everything else. And again, with some of the really old presets, you can take just the face and not the hair, and then give them a different hairstyle which is more common to the, their, their current hairstyle rather than the, the old ones they had and then just make sure you hit relink I'm going to hit close and then mess up my file and then you'd hit accept again I'm going to hit cancel so I don't mess up my file and you're done with relinking your face now the other thing that you're going to want to do is probably edit the six fake teams that appear in the mainly in the Europa League, I think possibly in the Champions League when you're playing um, Master League or, or become a legend. Um, so the six teams that appear are the six teams above Japan in the team list. Okay, mine already showing as, as these six teams because I've edited them already um, and got them all up to date. You can um, edit team name here from the default to whatever team you're going to create just make sure you hit enter at the end to save that in same with the the short name that appears on the scoreboard when you're playing a match you can change the stadium here from any of the stadiums the default stadiums or even the stadiums you've created and then you can hit edit here and this brings up the squad list as well as the formation you can edit the formation the tactics everything here the the set piece takers all those kind of things um, and you can even use this then to if you double click on a player taking Ryan Stevenson here um, and edit the stats of that player to be a player who actually plays for that club if you like or you could just rename the teams and be done with it sort of thing and just leave the default players there um, now the only other thing you might want to do is you might want to actually put one of those teams into the game. So if you come to the stadiums and league tab here, 
go to the league structure pick where you want to put that team now most of the time it's going to be one of the other European teams so let's just say I want to put Hearts over Motherwell drag and drop them although it seems like I've already done that in this messing around so let's just say Ruben Kazan over CSK Moscow so there you go they're in there then um, there's been a lot of messing around on this file by the looks I've well, I've been recording this video so that's basically it that you hit accept and you're done okay and you hit file and save once you've done all the editing you want to do obviously it's not going to be one or two things two things you're going to want to do plenty of stuff so hit save uh, it takes probably about as long to save as it did to load okay it's done and then close and it could take a minute or two for this to happen sometimes it's quicker and say okay I think it saves again then but I'll always hit save just in case and then you need to open up the decryptor in the wild editor Okay, and then open up your location of your file here. Go to the convert to PC, get the edit file, and drag it to decrypt. And here it will say it's successfully decrypted. Oops, hit the wrong thing. Okay, and then go back to the multi converter and go PC to PS3. Again, make sure you're in the correct location when you convert it and hit open and it will let you know that it's converted and close that down. Now here's one of the most important steps, make sure you open up the location of your file and go to the converted to PS3 file and take this data file and copy it to the original location and say replace. If you don't, then when you go back to the game it's all gone everything you've changed hasn't happened because it's just re-encrypted the original data you start with then delete this converted to PC file so you're left with just the four files you originally had then go back to the brute force save data editor <clears throat> and again you should load your file in automatically to the location where it is if you've got it in a different location you can always use this button here and select the location but mine's the right one because this is why I always pull it and then put encrypt and yes okay ignore this error it comes up every time means nothing but you're done so then you take this folder here and copy it back to the same location on your USB drive where the original one was and copy it back to your PS3 start the game and all your changes are in there so I hope that clears a lot of things up for a lot of people and enjoy <laughs>